you know, I think the, the, the value of Tesla is going to be like total, just on the vehicle side, total vehicles produced times the value of autonomy. That's, that's a, a way to think about the future value of Tesla. Hey everyone, that was Elon at Battery Day giving a prediction of a way to value Tesla in the future. I am going to reverse engineer a 2030 valuation from this prediction. The main thing to focus on is total vehicles produced times value of autonomy. First, I want to give a quick disclaimer. This is not financial advice. This is for illustrative purposes only and should not be construed as professional advice. If you need advice, please consult a licensed financial or tax advisor. Okay, the goal is to reverse engineer a 2030 valuation or market cap for Tesla Auto and Tesla Energy. The first step is to calculate the total vehicles produced in 2030. Now I will gather assumptions accordingly. Back in September 28th, 2020, Elon replied to a tweet saying, we do see Tesla reaching 20 million vehicles per year, probably before 2030, but that requires consistently excellent execution. So this is not a guarantee by any means, as Tesla will face many challenges, such as execution risk. But for the sake of this exercise, I will go with the assumption that Tesla will be producing 20 million vehicles per year by 2030. Next assumption is for the compounded annual growth rate to reach 20 million vehicles a year by 2030. On the Tesla Q1 2020 earnings call, Rob Maurer from Tesla Daily asked if 50% is in line with Tesla's ambitions for the next 5 to 10 years. And Elon confirmed that he thinks 50% is the likely number. He thinks it's possible that it's 40%, so again, no guarantees, but for now, I will use the assumption of 50% CAGR for car production annually. Next, I look to see how far back cars had the capability of FSD. I went to the used inventory section of Tesla.com and found that cars back in 2016 can be retrofit to have FSD capability. So I will use the assumption that all cars produced 2016 and onwards have FSD. Step two is determine what's the value of FSD. On May 18th, 2020, Elon tweeted saying, the FSD price will continue to rise as the software gets closer to full self-driving capability with regulatory approval. I believe there's a typo here, and I believe Elon means to say at. So at that point, the value of FSD is probably somewhere in excess of 100,000. So with that tweet, I will use the assumption that the value of FSD is 100,000 per car. Step three is to determine the value of Tesla energy in 2030. In 2016, I actually went to the shareholder meeting and I told Elon, I love you. <laughs> that was pretty cool, but I also asked Elon what he thought the future value of Tesla energy would be. If you want to see his reaction to me telling him, I love you, I'll put a link in the description. But for this video, I'll just play the part where Elon answers the question. How big do you think the Tesla uh, energy company or part of the company can be? Uh, that's, that's actually that's a, that's a great question. I mean, obviously at this point it is highly speculative. Um, so I mean, I always try. I mean, I try to bracket my answers with the appropriate level of uncertainty. So this, in this case, I'm bracketing it with a high degree of uncertainty. Um, but but my gut feel is that. From a revenue standpoint, that Tesla Energy um, and Tesla vehicles um, long-term end up being roughly similar in revenue. In the video, he said he was highly uncertain, but his gut feel was that Tesla's Energy's revenue would be roughly similar to Tesla automotive revenue. So we will go with that assumption. Furthermore, on the Q3 2019 conference call, Elon said a similar comment. He said, in the long term, 
I expect Tesla Energy to be of the same or roughly same size as Tesla's automotive sector or business. He didn't exactly specify he was talking about revenue, but based on his previous comment when I asked him, I think it is safe to use the assumption that Elon reaffirmed Tesla Energy revenue would be roughly the same as Tesla Auto revenue. Next, I need to determine 2030 automotive revenue. I googled average selling price for cars and in 2019, the ASP was 36,800. Then I plugged 36,800 into Google Sheets and applied 3% annual CPI increases, which is accounting for inflation. So in 2030, the ASP for cars should be approximately $50,939.81. Then you multiply that by the 20 million vehicles per year assumption. Then you have total annual automotive revenue assumption as approximately $1.02 trillion. And you assume Tesla energy will be roughly the same. You may be thinking that 1.02 trillion in energy revenue is unrealistic, but remember that 1.02 trillion in 2030 is really the same thing as 758 billion in 2020, just with inflation. Also, in 2019, six out of the top 10 companies in the world by revenue were energy companies. And in 2019, it equaled these six companies equaled 2.13 trillion in annual revenue. Also, Standard Oil, which used to be the largest company in the world, was broken up into BP, Exxon, Chevron, and Marathon Oil. If you combine all four of these companies' revenues in 2019, they equaled 818 billion. So since Tesla Energy is essentially aiming to be the standard oil of the current generation, it is plausible Tesla Energy could eventually reach 1.02 trillion in revenue. Next, I will determine a revenue multiple to apply to 2030 revenue to determine Tesla Energy market cap. I found the top 10 biggest renewable energy companies in the world, and I plugged in the top five into Google Sheets. I took their market cap and divided it by their revenues to determine a revenue multiple. For some reason, Jinko Solar only had a 0 0.04 multiple. I wasn't sure the reason why and decided to not use them, and I plugged in the sixth biggest company instead. These remaining five all were in the 2 to 3x multiple range, so I was happy ending up with the assumption of using the average 2.5x multiple to apply to 2030 revenue to determine the Tesla energy market cap. Okay, step four. Now I will plug all my assumptions into Google Sheets. First, for year, I have 2016 and onwards. If you recall, the assumption is that all cars produced 2016 and onwards have FSD capability. I have the actual number of cars delivered from 2016 to 2020. Next, I have cars produced being 20 million in 2030. The assumption was actually before 2030, Tesla will be producing 20 million vehicles per year. So the estimate is a little conservative, but it's because I plugged in a 50% compounded annual growth rate for 2021 and onwards, and it got me pretty close to 20 million before 2030. So I figured that was close enough. Also, it's interesting to note that the historical average compounded annual growth rate for Tesla is about 60%. You can see from 2016, it went from 50% to 35, to 138, to 49, to 36. So I'm sure we can expect to have the rates jumping up and down throughout the next 10 years. But for this exercise, I just have 50% as the assumption. 
For value of FSD, I'm plugging in the assumption of 100,000 per car. All of that brings us to the 2030 valuation. For auto, I simply take total vehicles produced times value of autonomy to get $7.7 .7 trillion. As for the value of energy, these are the same charts I showed you before, showing the estimated total revenue for auto in 2030, and also the average revenue multiple for the largest renewable energy companies in the world. So I take the 2030 revenue and multiply that by the average 2.5x multiple and get a market cap for Tesla Energy as 2.5 trillion. For the total future value, I add them both together and get 10.29 trillion in market cap. As for the share price, I take the 10.29 trillion market cap and divide it by the current outstanding shares of 947.9 million and get $10,856.45 per share. Also, it's important to remember there will be dilution in the future, so that would need to be adjusted accordingly. In summary, the 10.29 trillion market cap is a highly speculative ballpark figure and it's mainly contingent on achieving level five autonomy and massive growth in scaling auto and energy. Tesla's growth targets seem crazy, but they have continuously achieved seemingly crazy growth targets in the past. Tesla's value could end up being less than 5 trillion, 10 trillion, or 15 trillion plus. No one knows for sure, so this is just all me speculating on the future. It should also be noted that Tesla products that are not included in this valuation but will most likely be material to Tesla's business in the future are insurance, which Elon said may be 30 to 40 percent of the auto business, HVAC, which could be a big part, Dojo as a service, which is what Elon mentioned on the most recent conference call. And something I'm sure all Tesla fans are excited about is a future VTOL jet, which would blow all of our minds. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. A link to this whiteboard will be in the description, so feel free to check that out. Also, please like and subscribe, and you can find me on Twitter and IG at Jason Chang. Jason Chang, Chang has three A's. Um, all right, thank you so much.